When Mr. Sprewell saw the complainant, Harry Buellen, hugging and kissing his wife, he lunged at Mr. Buellen, placed his hands around his neck, and began shaking him. And two members of the community center staff intervened and were able to restrain him, but Mr. Sprewell began yelling threats and obscenities at the complainant and continued to do so until the police arrived and took him away. Apparently, Mr. Sprewell's under the impression that his wife is married to the complainant? Actually, it's his wife who's under that impression. His wife is under the impression that he's married to someone else? No, she's under the impression that she's married to someone else. The complainant. Oh. Well, I'm glad we got that cleared up. Is she? Is she what? Married to the complainant? I don't actually know. How can she be married to him when she's married to me? The point is, is that she believes she's married to the complainant. Because she's not well? Yes. I excuse me. I tried to tell him that she was sick, and he didn't want to hear it. This is Mr. Sprewell's daughter. She's here as surety, Your Honor. The thing is, if she'd been in a home, then this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, then you'd be happy. Just lock her up. No one to brush her hair, cut her toenails. You selfish ingrate. Obviously, he doesn't have all his faculties either. Dr. Newman? He's clearly upset by what he's learned, but he's fully aware of what he did and why he did it. And I'll do it again. Fred, please. Is it possible that he had some sort of psychotic episode? Anything's possible. But he was coherent and reasonably focused when I interviewed him. Where's the complainant now? I don't know. Probably he's off somewhere having it off with my wife. <laughs>